Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Gowerin Park here on Thursday. It is January the 26th, 2017. Gonna look at race number three from Gowerin Park, the 150 post time. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for more selections from racetracks across the world. The 150 is the John Mullerin Gaumoy hurdle it's a great two hurdle here going for a purse of forty seven thousand five hundred dollars it's for it's a hurdle race for five-year-olds and upwards field of six horses going three miles three miles ahead of them over the hurdle course and uh, my top pick in the spot i'm gonna go to the three horse number three Klondow warrior i'm gonna include him into a tricast or a trifecta here i'm gonna go three six one three six one but number three Clondale Warrior, 8 to 5. Ruby Walsh is on this 10 year old gelding. He's been around the block a few times, this uh, horse, and Ruby Walsh too. But, um, you know, he, he's making his first start of 2017. You know, last time out, he ran on December the 8th, uh, the, December the 28th at um, Leopardstown, three miles of the hurdle in the a grade one squared financial Christmas hurdle. Horse just missed behind Vroom Vroom Mag. He finished second by one quarter lengths. And, uh, you know, was jumping pretty well that day. It was an all around de decent second place finish against some very tough horses. I think in this spot today, this horse should really go away with it. I think this horse might be running her um, his best race of his life. Um, you know, the upgrade to Ruby Walsh, you know, is a very big help also. Um, start before at um, on, uh, December the 8th, going through miles in the basic hurdle race. First start since September the 9th. First start of the hurdles since the summer. This horse won by five and a half lengths. 83 cents to the dollar favorite. He ran incredibly well, like a favorite should run. Start before this horse was running over the flat. It was at Doncaster, Doncaster on December the 9th in the uh, Doncaster Cup, the 250th Doncaster Cup. Horse finished eighth by 33 lengths behind Shake Hazard Road, who, ran, who had a very incredible fall camp. Campaign. You know, this horse was just at the back pack. He, he, he beat nobody that day. You know, it was his first start back since America, and he, he just needed the start. They took this horse to the sideline. He's back to the hurdles next start out, and he won. So, you know, it was just a little against a lot tougher horses. And then start before, this horse ran here in the United States over in Chicago um, in the Arlington, uh, in, in, at Arlington Park in the American St. Ledger going a mile and 11 sixteenths. This horse was second by one three-quarter length behind probably the America's best stare horses. Best stayer horse who is the big horse. Uh, that's saying something, um, you know, saying America and stairs because that's something that does not go together. It's um, it's a complete opposite because the American there's the American stayers community is next to nothing other than the big horse. Um, but this horse been second behind him. He ran a very good race closing up that day, but just the big horse ran a little bit better, you know. He, he ran okay that day, um, you know, start before in a handicap hurdle at uh, Galloway, uh, th this horse uh, won by half length, a very nice victory, I think in the spot this horse should really do well, you never know, maybe they'll they'll take, the, after the uh, jumping season from the UK, maybe they'll take this horse to America to, to maybe run again in the American St. Ledger, or maybe come here to New York, uh, to New York City, to Belmont Park and run the Belmont Gold Cup, I think it's grade two this year, but um, that's a two mile race, but uh, you know, I think this horse should have a very good run, so I'll use him as a top pick. So to recap my bets for race number three, the 150 from Gowron Park, it's the John Mulleran Galmoy Hurdle. Gonna go with the three horse Klonda Warrior. Gonna go three six one, three six one. So good luck to all, and follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid Five. Good luck, everybody.